research is important for any academic department. For Michigan State University's renowned College of Agriculture, that research takes place at nearly 100 offices and research stations across the state. But when the state doesn't disperse its monthly funding payment and isn't planning on dispersing any future payments, it's obvious cause for concern. What's happened is we became a political football. The affected programs, the Michigan Agriculture and Experiment Station and MSU Extension, are pivotal for the College of Agriculture and were at the mercy of a veto stripping all funds from both programs last month. Simply one word, devastation. Uh, we would have had uh, uh, way more commitments than we have money to meet those commitments. The importance of this network is felt beyond research as several community outreach programs promoting green agriculture and animal care are funded through Extension and the Experiment Station. Uh, we've expanded beyond uh, just agriculture, uh, you know, only having a relationship with farmers. Uh, we do uh, programs on health and nutrition. Uh, one of our well-known youth development programs is 4-H. In a statement released by the Granholm administration, Governor Granholm reassures that the extension and experiment station programs will continue to be funded as long as a commitment to sustainability is met. But even though Governor Granholm did not veto the funds which would have ultimately closed the research network, officials within MSU's College of Agriculture still fear the future. Remember the old movie Bill Murray, Groundhog Day? Uh, we've been in Groundhog Day every year. I'm in my ninth year and every year we've had budget challenges and we've been kicked around like a political football. And every year it's gotten worse. And it can't get much worse than what we received this year other than it actually happening. With all areas of education continuing to feel the pinch of statewide economics, those affiliated with MSU Extension and the Michigan Agriculture Experiment Station are merely hoping their future and the state's future are in line. For Focal Point, I'm Anthony Allen Polarize.